Hello everyone. Well, strange days indeed. I'm sure you're stuck at home under a stay-at-home order or just choosing to stay at home and flatten the curve. So good on you. I hope you can keep it up. And uh, I know the healthcare workers out there are really depending on us to not uh, spread the infection, not sp spread the virus. So keep it up. We'll get through this. Back before the virus and uh, all the stay-at-home orders, I took a nice walk along the foothill trail near where I live. I'd seen these barns before and I've wanted to paint them. So I taped this episode back in December and I'm just getting to editing it now. I finished the painting up. Just a few touch-ups here in the studio. So I'll show the episode now that I've put together um, with the finished painting and uh, hopefully you can Get a little distracted from your current worries and, and from the, the virus news and uh, enjoy a, a short walk with me in a painting session. As always, thank you for joining me. And if you like these episodes, please like and subscribe. It really encourages me to make more. Hello again. I'm out walking along the Foothills Trail near Ording, near where I live. Um, I've noticed these pretty barns along this walk a few times, so I have in mind to stop along here and paint. It's mid-December. It's really mild, raining off and on, overcast. So hopefully I get a couple sun breaks and I don't get rained out. been reading Richard Schmidt's book, Alla Prima 2, and he shows a method that's very different from my method that I've been using. And I think this scene goes well with the method he uses. So let me show you the scene. Alright, here's the scene I'm going to paint. I'm going to zoom in on this wooden barn in the distance with the brownish gray hills in the background. I'm going with an 11 by 14 gessoed panel today. I apologize for the road noise. Let's see what we can get done. Richard Schmidt's a la prima approach that I'm following today uses a turpentine wash on a white panel or canvas. I've hand prepared this panel with gesso, given it some texture. I show that in another video using a palette knife and a brush to give it some texture. What I'm doing here is washing the panel with a heavily diluted mixture of paint. I used a little ultramarine blue cadmium red, cadmium yellow, burnt umber to come close to the colors I'm seeing in the general scene. And then I heavily dilute that with turpentine. And now I'm trying to cover the panel as quickly as possible. You probably saw I had a pencil sketch down first. I usually do a quick pencil sketch just to make sure I get the composition I'm after. Now with a paper towel or with a brush with a little bit of mineral spirits, I'm wiping away some of the paint to expose the panel again. This creates the lightest values in the composition. Now that the paint with the turpentine has started to set up, I use a large watercolor mop brush to blend. The beauty of the turpentine is that the paint sets up really quick. That turpentine evaporates quickly. 
it can be hazardous. You don't want to use it indoors without a lot of ventilation. I've mixed up some darker colors now for that background. The background hill behind the barn is covered in a lot of different trees, but from this distance and when I squint, they all are kind of a general dark, flat green. So I've mixed a little bit of sap green with ultramarine blue and burnt umber, and now I'm just blocking that in. Now to paint the barn, this should be fun. I mix up a little bit of burnt sienna, some cerulean blue and white to get kind of a nice rusty gray, reddish gray. I use the palette knife and hold it out in front of me to match the color of the siding. I also hold it in front of the painting to check the harmony. Does it match the theme, the overall color theme that I have going on the panel? Mixing white into the paint will actually send it cooler. It'll turn it slightly bluer. So as I'm mixing this white in, I need to put back in more of a warm tone, a red or a cadmium, to bring the warmth back to where it needs to be for that siding. You can see I'm going back and forth between the palette knife and the brush. I like the effect you can get with a palette knife dragging it across the panel kind of gives a sharp initial edge and then a broken line as you drag the paint off and then you can take the brush and knock down any lumps or edges that you don't like All right, well, the sun came out, as you can see, the clouds burned away, and it's really mild, really warm for mid-December. Um, we had snow and really cold temperatures just a few days ago, and now it's probably close to 50 degrees. But I had a nice day. Um, unfortunately, this is right on a pretty busy road, so a lot of road noise. I had my headphones in and listening to some podcasts, so that helped, but um, still not the most peaceful location, but I enjoyed it and I appreciate you hanging out with me. So here's the finished painting. You can see there's a lot of light on that barn now. So the light really changed when the sun broke through the clouds. And here's the painting. A lot of glare at the moment. Hopefully you can make that out. Yeah. 
enjoyed it. Um, tried the Richard Schmid Alla Prima approach, which, which definitely gave some kind of cool effects that I want to play with some more. Enjoyed doing the painting, and I uh, appreciate you joining me. As always, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks for joining me.